Today we create this low-poly island platform that you can use to present models or a small scene. I have my standard cube here and I'm going to delete it. Create a new UV mesh, UV sphere. And I want to know how complex this is, so I turn on statistics. But 500, that's fine, I can do a bit more actually. I turn that into 40 segments and I turn it into 24 rings. A little bit more detail and I can see here about a thousand vertices, that's fine. I go into wireframe mode and I also turn on my X-ray mode so I can see absolutely everything. I go into front view, edit mode, vertex mode in that here and I select this, press X, delete my vertices which leaves me with an open globe. I can now go into edge mode by pressing 2, hold alt and select the entire loop, go to my face menu and select grid fill which closes this edge and closes the globe and I have a basic platform. And now I will make this platform unique. I go to top view here and I'm going to turn this off into my edit mode and select edit mode and select vertex mode. In vertex mode I can select individual vertices so I want to select every second vertex by holding shift but that can be a little bit cumbersome so I hold control shift and press plus then blender at least in theory should help me with that it only does quarters of it for some strange reason so if you know why that is please let me know. I'm just going to do that partially manual. I select scale and I scale that out a little bit just to create a bit of a structure here. I stay in my top view and I select my proportional editing here where I'm selecting some of those and then I select grab and I can grab that. I can also scroll this to make it more specific, more narrow, or a little bit broader, affecting more of those surrounding nodes. And so I will go ahead and kind of modify that and also modify the rest of the body the same way. So you can do that in your own way and just give me a minute and I will go ahead here. So finally I'm checking if my platform is still level, so it looks like it is. If it is not, you could just rotate this somehow and make last changes, but in my case it is fine. So we have a basic, basic adjusted platform now. Okay, let's add some materials to this. I selected the material properties and create a new materials. I call it clay. For clay, I pick some brown, yellow looking brown color here. I add another material slot here and create another material and I call that grass. Grass. I pick a green color. I'm selecting a third material. I call that rock. And I pick a basic gray here. Good, so I go in here. Because I picked clay first, it colored the entire object here in this color. <clears throat> now I want to do a bit. Grass on top, I pick the front view and I go into edit mode and face mode and I'm selecting, well I have to pick this x-ray mode, selecting all around the top, I pick grass and I assign that. I have a look at this. That looks about right. Now again in x-ray mode, I just pick the tip down here and I want to assign that to the rock. So I'm going into material view, object mode, this is kind of what I have, a very basic coloring 
of our platform. If this was useful, like, subscribe, do your thing and mind yourself and see you soon.